Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dows, and in today's lesson I'm going to explain the difference between a slope of zero and then a, an undefined slope. Uh, I have a video that talks about the basics of slope. Uh, I mentioned this a little bit, but this is in more uh, going over more detail. Uh, a zero slope uh, is a slope that goes straight across horizontally. This is a slope of zero. An undefined slope is a slope that goes uh, straight up and down. Uh, it, it's, it's just a vertical line. And so this is an undefined slope. Let me write that down. Uh, now, uh, when we think of a, a slope of zero, uh, it, it, there's, there's no change in the y direction. We're not going up and down. We're only going in the x direction. And undefined is the opposite, where uh, there is no change in the x direction, but there is a change in the y direction. Uh, and if you have a hard time remembering what a zero slope is or an undefined slope is, I'm, I'm going to draw a person uh, on top of this line here. I'm going to draw a person uh, right next to this line right here. And if we were to think of this red line uh, here as a, as a floor and this red line here as a wall, there's only one of these that you can physically walk on. Um, I know I can only walk on horizontal uh, lines here or hor horizontal surfaces. I mean, you do it all the time. You go to the grocery store, you go to the movies, you, you, you're, you're at home, at school. Uh, the horizontal or the flat surfaces, the level surfaces, are, are what you can walk on, and that's a slope of zero. But if you ever try to walk on a vertical surface, uh, it's impossible. Uh, if you try it, you might hurt yourself, so please don't do that. And so when I say it's impossible to walk on a wall, that's basically the, the, what, what undefined means. Uh, undefined and impossible basically mean the same thing. Uh, it's impossible uh, mathematically to have a, a, a vertical line. Uh, versus it's mathematically possible to have a slope of zero. Uh, now, I know in the physical world, we have vertical surfaces. I mean, we have walls. I know it's possible, but when, when it comes to math, uh, it's impossible to have a slope that going straight up and down. And I'm going to explain this in more detail in the next few slides. Uh, but let's start off with a slope of zero. Uh, the slope of zero, uh, I need to define the slope between these two points, and I'll prove to you that the slope is going to be zero here. Now, I'm going to focus on the slope formula here. I've got a video on this uh, equation if you don't know what I'm doing here, uh, because mathematically it's just easier to explain uh, how we get a slope of zero. Uh, now, used to, to use this uh, slope formula, we need to find the coordinates of, of these two points that I'm using as the example. Uh, we have g is, uh, let's see here, what's g located at? Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so back 5, up 2. So the coordinates of g are, are negative 5, 2. And then if I look at h, the coordinates are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 2. The coordinates are 6, comma 2. Uh, and then I need to figure out which one I'm going to make, x1 and, and y1 and x2 and y2. And so let's just start with x1, y1 x2 and y2 and now I can substitute these numbers into this equation uh, and so let's do it here so I'm gonna do m equals well what is y2 y2 is 2 and we have the subtract sign in this in the equation y1 is 2 and then all that divided by x2 x2 is 6 subtract x1 which is a negative 5 and if I'm gonna keep solving this I'm gonna have 2 minus 2 is 0 and then we've got uh, two negatives here, make it a positive. And so 6 plus 5 uh, is 11. And so if you were to plug this in the calculator, or if you just know right offhand, uh, anything, uh, 0 divided by anything, is going to get us 0. And so the slope here of this line is 0. That's how we get 0. Now, if you think about it physically, like nothing going into something is still nothing. And so uh, mathematically, we get a slope of 0 here. And, and if you understand this in a little bit more detail here, let me, let me talk about this. Uh, if we look at just the y values, they're always going to end up canceling out if we ever have a horizontal line. And so the y values were both 2 here. Well, 2 minus 2 gets a 0. Well, if I have another line up here, and let's say we have another point here and another point over here, the y values are, in this case, are both 9, and so you'd have 9 minus 9. You're still going to get 0. If I chose a line down here, uh, let's say this was at negative 8, if I have two points on this line, a negative 8 uh, minus a negative 8, uh, it's going to become a negative 8 plus 8, and that's going to cancel out. So whenever you have a horizontal line, the top number is always going to end up canceling out, and then so by default, you're going to have 0 over something, and you're always going to end up with a slope of 0. And so if you ever see a horizontal line and they need and they want you to find the slope, 
you, you can automatically know the slope's going to be zero. Uh, let's talk about undefined. This is the one where a lot of people kind of get confused. And let me explain this to you mathematically how we get undefined or, or the impossible slope. Um, so I've got two points here that are on a vertical, uh, a vertical line here, uh, going straight up and down. Uh, and so notice there's no movement in the x direction. We're only moving in the y direction. Uh, let me find the coordinates of these two. So let's start with v. So uh, over 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have a 3 comma negative 4. Uh, u is over 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so I have a 3 comma 8. Uh, and so I need to label these. So let's go x1, y1, uh, x2, y2. And let's start plugging and chugging these into the equation we have here. Uh, so again, I'm, I'm focusing on the slope formula. I'm not going to do the rise over run because mathematically it might make more sense to you if I solve it uh, using the slope formula here. Uh, and so we have y2 is a negative 4. And then we have a subtract sign. y1 is 8. And then I have uh, x2 is 3. And we keep in mind we've got a subtract sign here again. And, and then x1 is 3. And if I solve this, I'm going to get a negative 4 minus 8 is a negative 12. And a 3 minus 3 is 0. And we've got a problem here. Um, if you have something going into nothing, it, you can't do that. It, it's impossible. It's physically impossible as well. You can't put something into nothing. Uh, and if you put this in your calculator, uh, any number divided by 0, you're going to get an error message of some sort. Uh, and so whenever we're dealing with lines going straight up and down, uh, we're going to end up canceling out. Let me change colors here. Or we're going to end up canceling out uh, the x values, which are going to always end up equaling 0. And anything over 0 uh, is going to give you an error message of some sort uh, in your calculator. And so mathematically, it's impossible to have a slope going up and down because these x values are going to end up canceling out. And again, it doesn't matter. Uh, where we, we have the line, if it's going straight up and down, and my line might not be straight up and down here, uh, the y values are, are, sorry, the x values are always going to end up canceling out. Uh, just like what we had on the horizontal one, except for the y values are canceling out here, but on the vertical one here, uh, the x values are always going to end up canceling out. And so by default, it's just, you're always going to get zero on the bottom. And it's mathematically impossible to have. Uh, a number divided by zero. And so when we say undefined, it's just impossible. Uh, you just can't do it. I mean, again, putting something into nothing, that's what's happening here. We have something going into nothing. You just can't do it. And so that's how they came up with the word undefined. And so that's an undefined slope. Anyways, hopefully this helps you understand the, the concept behind uh, zero slopes and undefined slopes. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.